Hey everyone, in here again, and uh, today I'm actually going to be talking a bit more about the video resolution and uh, the sensor on the new Mavic 2 Pro. This was the reason I actually chose this model, even though it was a couple of hundred pounds, hundred dollars more than the Mavic 2 Zoom. The big draw for me was the new one inch sensor. Not only was it going to be more pixels, but those pixels are going to be larger, resulting in a better quality image. The sensor is actually 20 megapixels, which is up from the Mavic Pro and the two zooms sensor of just 12 megapixels. It still shoots in 4K video, but it means your still pictures are going to be uh, far higher resolution and far better quality. But one of the less obvious advantages of this is how it shoots video as well still shoots in 4K, but with that number of pixels, it's actually got spare capacity, which means that it's actually shoot, it can actually shoot as high as 5.5K video. Now, obviously, it won't output that, but what it actually means it gives you two different modes of shooting video. In the camera settings, you'll see you've got two settings. You've got the HQ and you've got the uh, full field of view, FOV. Both of these are 4K. But crucially, one of them is in effect a lossless digital zoom. To show you what I mean, have a look at these two clips I filmed this morning. The full field of view gives you the full picture and you can see the pylon stretching for miles in the distance. Full field of view is shooting in uh, 5.5K. It's using the full uh, field of view of the sensor, 75 degrees, which means you're getting the absolute full picture that the sensor can take in. It then downsamples that to output a file at 4K. If you then compare that with the HQ version, again, shot from exactly the same position, you only see a couple of pylons and the whole field looks a lot larger. It's cropping and only using the center part of the sensor. You're still getting the full 4K, but because it's actually only using the central part of it, in effect, you get a 55 degree field of view, which gives you a zoom effect. So to me, this really is one of the big advantages of the uh, huge sensor that you get with the Pro and worth every penny that you're spending on that extra size sensor. You're getting higher resolution still photos. You're getting better quality photos because the actual pixels are larger within the sensor itself. And of course, with uh, video, you're getting uh, two options. You can either have uh, full field of view at uh, 75 degrees, or you can have a lossless zoom at 55 degrees. More options with the same cameras can only be a good thing. And what's great is that it's really easy to switch between the two in the middle of your flight. A very quick video today. As I said, I just wanted to expand on what I think is one of the most important points of the Pro. Summer's never ending, so I'm going to carry on flying and having fun. Till next time, have fun. Happy flying, guys.